love one pet I like to pet And every evening we get set I stroke it every chance I get It's my girl's pussy You ready for this? Oh, is it happening? It's happening. It's happening. <clears throat> hey, guys. So, uh, today we were going to try... We were trying to play a game that just... It just didn't... It just did not work. Um, so, uh, actually, I don't know, is this recording us? Yeah, it's loud enough. Okay. Uh, we tried to record something that just, it just wasn't working. Uh, so instead we're gonna play this game I had on Steam. Sid Meier's Pirates. <laughs> Yay. Ryan's never played this. Yeah. Uh, As I, I stated earlier, I am the thing right above not curious at all. I, uh... I, I grew up playing this game. Only this game. <laughs> it was it was fun. Uh, I've not played it since I was probably sixteen, though. So let's see how how it's held up in the last ten years. There's there's no voice acting apparently. <laughs> These guys are just been ch they're like their mouths are moving and there's words on the screen. I'm hearing like grunts and yelling. That. But not actual words. Yeah. It's like a Zelda game. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's not getting it. He's still at the table. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is this why you look up when you're yeah, running? That's sort of at the floor. Always look where you're going, don't look at your feet. Look up. That's a general rule for. <laughs> Escaping things. <laughs> you know, I want I want one of those pirate flags on my eye patch in case people can't tell. About that. <laughs> in case people look at the the cutlass and the crazy shirt. Actually, to be honest, I didn't want to have thought of him to be a pirate if it wasn't for that eye patch with the Jolly Roger. On it. <laughs> well, there you go. It he, worked he out. looks like a very uh, rich noble person. <laughs> he does. And here we are with our no shoes and no toes. <laughs> Our ripped up shirt. Dude, that's Captain Hook. Like, Captain Hook from Disney. Like from, yeah, from the Disney version. Uh, and it's me. Jeez, <laughs> the whole cast is here. Alright. If you're looking fast, it's the Americas. You can sign up here. What's your name? Uh, Jimmy Dean. Alright. Like the sausage? Yeah, yeah, not to be confused with the actor. James Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you need to sign as part of our crew. The captain's at the table. We'll gladly take you aboard. Oh, okay. So we're gonna sign up with the French, the Spanish, the Dutch, or the English. And the French that looks funny. I'd choose that guy. French, all yeah. right. We'll be French. No. <laughs> we'll keep you aboard, Monsieur Jimmy Dean. We sail with the tide. The uh, the crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. You can tell by the uh, all the terror and cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> wow, French dudes and assholes. Yeah, that kind of hurt a little. Are we gonna mutiny? <laughs> yeah, the crew mutinies. Woo! Oh boy, how exciting! Wait, so where are you, where do you go? Um. You just ran away. We just, we just bailed. <laughs> right. oh, shit we'll incite real. the mutiny, but I'm not gonna. The guy shooting for a canning at his own ship at people on. Oh, own we boat. got it. We're up here. How did we? Where did we get a sword? <laughs> also, why is this guy firing canning at people on his boat? It's he's, like the uh, most unsafe thing I've he heard. He's not a good captain. <laughs> no, he's not. Not a smart man. Can we throw him overboard? We'll find out in a second, I guess. No, we should keep the. We boat. did throw him Damn. overboard, but with a. A little, uh, what are those called? Lifeboats? Yeah, a little oh. lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it's called a boat. I believe the term is boat? <laughs> a fortune to be had. Look at us. Well, don't be greedy, you already got a ship. You just got a ship. The great Captain Jimmy D. Well known for his famous sausage. Ladies. <laughs> In fact, two ladies and two old men. <laughs> we uh those we, are his lovers. We go for uh, for all sorts. Yeah. Jimmy Dean goes for all sorts. Okay, so this is this is the game. 
All right, the French strong home of Leo Gain is bustling with activity. Local merchants usually don't have much to sell. Do you talk to the government? I'm a tavern? professional French speaker. It's it's Leo Gain. <laughs> Leo Gain. Gain. Let's chat with the governor. Hey, isn't that guy we just kicked off the boat? <laughs> All you French people look the same. Uh, my dear Mr. Jimmy Dean, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish, the perfidious English, and the greedy Dutch. I am pleased to offer a letter of marque which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of Santo Domingo, which lies long distance to the east. Yeah, okay. In case you can't <laughs> tell, I learned how to do my French accent from watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Alright, Santo Domingo. In fact, a juicy Spanish ocean bark was seen this morning heading in that direction. Wait, where did he have those grapes? Why were they on a platter already? <laughs> Why did he pull them out of his pocket to put on a platter? Uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta right, do. So what do we do? Oh, I hate to I click on that chick. This chick? Okay. Yeah, tap that. Whoa. With your mouse. Steve Bonnet, the fifth most notorious pirate in the Caribbean, sells out of the Pirate Haven book Balkanville. Balkanville. Bucanville. Near the city of Tortuga, he's known to carry over 4,000 gold doubloons. I don't know if that's a lie. Alright, there's some Steve, Steve on it, chills. The, are these people just telling us where the treasure is? Uh, that's what she was doing. Let's see what this guy says. He's offering to give us a, a map showing some buried treasure for 200 gold. No thanks. I don't like to buy things from strangers. <sighs> An experienced man of 21 men offers to join your current crew. Uh, yeah, we could probably... Use the help. And let's see what this guy has to say. Shipwright and Petite Go can upgrade you with cotton sails. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Um. Uh, oh man, this looks complicated. I think this is gonna be one of those games where you will play the whole time and I will be the captain telling you what to do. <laughs> that works. And you me. will be my crew. <laughs> oh, we can get some bronze cannons if we want. Alright, let's sail away. Oh god, what happened? Mm, Ships no, attacking we it. should not attack this. Oh gosh, I forgot. This game is so old that it uses the, oh, it's the, using arrow, the arrow keys. keys. And not the... So, the, isn't it up there? Oh, the ship. Do we have a map? Yeah. Now, we're going to Santo Domingo, which is over here. Oh, okay, we're not going to get that treasure? Uh, what treasure? Uh, the, that lady was talking oh, about. Oh, no, that wasn't a treasure. That was the location of the fifth most notorious pirate. Oh. And seeing as we just started, I figure we should probably wait. Well, until... yeah, who knows? What if we're the sixth most notorious pirate? <laughs> uh, you can find it. When you uh, actually, like, start getting notoriety, there's a person you can talk to. They'll be like, oh, hey, by the way, you're this, oh, yeah, this okay, level so you of can find notoriety. Out. That's yeah. pretty neat. Look, Look at our, that cloud. Our crew is happy. We've got some uh, four months of food. Scurvy. There's... <laughs> There's uh, some rock giant fish here. We're going against the wind, so also so like there's real sails, full sails, which determine how fast you're going and stuff. Can but since you, we're going against the wind, can you row? Uh, <laughs> can you upgrade to a motor boat? If only. Ooh, the wind got so great that even though we were going against it, we still got to go faster. Oh, look, a pirate haven. Oh, let me sail away from the beach. Oh god, those sharks are coming after you. <laughs> I think they're dolphins. Oh, kill them. Let's see if we can get really close. Can we be whalers? <laughs> they're totally dolphins. As far as I'm aware, there's no whaling in this game. Is there whaling? Is there a whale simulator? Let's attack this trade galleon. All so right. we can actually like get some action going on uh, in the first episode. Attack. Uh, yeah, we can... Yeah, we do that. He's, his name's Dom. We can take him. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice shot, dude. Oh, God. I oh. turned, like, directly. <laughs> directly yeah, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we gonna die in the first episode? <laughs> And that was the story of Jimmy <laughs> Dean. <laughs> the tale of Jimmy Dean, the legendary pirate who died as, as soon as he hey, sailed dude, away. Give him the grapes. The grapes? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the different shots like do oh, different things. Oh man, 
They... The, the grape shot is designed to kill the people on board. The round shot is designed to damage the boat. I think we're closing up for some grapes now. Yeah. Oh, All yeah. Right. I'm going to ram him so that we can do the duel. Oh, oh dang. No duel. Ships clutter the mighty crash. The demoralized crew quickly surrenders. A healthy haul of gold and plunder are yours for taking. Uh, yeah, welcome aboard, lads. We got 756 gold pieces. Dang. We could probably use that some more food. sounds like a lot. <laughs> um, let's take the goods, too, so that we can sell them. Uh, just take it, take it all. Uh, do you want to keep the ship? Oh. Or sink her? It did look better than our ship, but uh, it's also very damaged. How damaged is our ship? Uh, our ship isn't pretty good. Our ship isn't pretty okay. standing. Just sink her? Yeah, we did a lot of damage. Oh, uh, we can't carry everything if we don't keep her, so we should probably keep her. Oh, okay. And then we can sell her at port. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we just profit first. Let's just, yeah. All right, let's go to San Let's keep Domingo. everything. I don't know why we'd ever sink. Skull Point is a buried treasure landmark. At that point. We don't have any buried treasure maps, so that doesn't help us, but... Uh, we can just wing it. Just start digging up holes on the beach. Or whatever. All right. Do. So we can sell the ship right. So, not the Revenge, but how about, can we... Yeah. Don Fernando 2, that was the ship we just bought. Or we just took. Mm -hmm. It's worth 10 gold if we sell it. Hold on, trade with the merchant. We did not strike with the... Oh, this is a Spanish oh, guy. Oh, wow, jeez. Wow. Um... Hey, this looks real familiar. Yeah, there's only like... <laughs> <laughs> They're just reskinned all the people yeah, in the... If you tavern. go into the, uh, the governor, it's like, it looks the same, too. It's the same butler. We are He's war. the real bad guy of the game. He's manipulating all of the different countries. <laughs> Please offer your letter of mark, which authorizes you to plunder, plunder the enemies of the Spanish, which are the French. So now if we wanted to change sides, we could start liking it with the French. But well, see. no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. So. <laughs> Gosh. This game is slower than I remember. Yeah, sell more goods, get some money. This might have to actually only be like a one-off episode. I don't know how active it'll it'll be. Is there anything you want to do? What, what should we do? I I vote that we repair the ship we just stole, and then sell our old ship. Okay. Because it looks so, like we have a lot of money. Consult with the shipwright. So if we go over here to the trade galleon, we repair it for six hundred, and then we can sell our old ship for four hundred and fifty. Um. Do you want to upgrade cotton sales so we can sail faster? Well, how many how much gold we got left? Fourteen hundred. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay. Um, sail away. Ooh, is that guy attacking us already? No, their uh, their military base was attacking us. Um, oh, why is that? Well, because we're technically at war with Spain. Oh, but we we landed there just fine. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Where do you want to go? Oh, man. We have a whole sea to us. Uh, like, what's the point? Like, what do we do now? Uh, you just want to become the most famous pirate you can. So, like, one of the things that you can do is you can go to war with different um, cities and stuff. Um, so we're we're aligned with the French ourselves. So we could go and find okay, the enemies to blow up, or we could go to San Juan and blow up San Juan. Santo Domingo is pretty well armed, so I'm not sure that would be our best bet. But, uh, Dude, Cur Curacao. Curacao. Way down here? Yeah, All right. let's take them out. Okay, well, that's... that's... I, don't, I don't like them down there. <laughs> have... so. Oh, let's kill this French smuggler. Oh, wait, no, we're French. We should probably keep the French smuggler. Well, we're just going Curacao. They don't know. We can kill them. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, hey, uh, there's a long sail on the way there, so we'll... Uh... we'll Actually, we're going we're gonna to attack this, and then we'll end the episode, and we'll pick up with you. Well, we're just going to phase right through them. Let's attack it. All right. Oh, yeah, we can take. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah. With our new galleon, we can do a lot more damage with bigger guns. Oh, I clicked the shot so far. Bam! Yeah. So you always want to, like, turn into it so you get hit by less stuff. It's it's very similar to the uh, the pirate stuff in uh, uh, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah. Which was by far the best part of the game. Ever. Well, you can probably give them the grapes now. <laughs> give, him, give him the grapes. Uh, no, we actually, I don't think we have the ship upgraded with, with grape shot. We only have round shot on the ship. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna ram him and see if we can, uh... 
Oh gosh, come on. Come on. Catch the wind. <laughs> Catch the wind! <laughs> The excitement of piracy. We'll, we'll slowly limp towards him. Yeah, man, I was trying to hope. I was hoping we could get a duel going. Welcome aboard, lads. Take all. <laughs> We're just so intimidating that no one wants to fight us. The French governor may be inclined to give you a promotion the next time you're in town. So next time we go over to Leo Gain, which is where we started, way over here, then uh, there's a good chance they'll give us a, a, a promotion. Oh. All right, cool. Well, hey, we'll see you tomorrow um, as we do more uh, pirate plundering. Uh, yep. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick up at Curacao. Goodbye, guys.